Hi, this is Kevin Foch with Left Turn Creative. I'm going to take you through the steps of retouching a group of images. Uh, first thing you want to do in the Touch Flow Retouch Palette is to select the folder. It's going to open up the File Repeater. I'm going to select the folder I want to work with. Uh, Kevin Foch, there we go. And then I'm going to use an output folder on this one. If you don't use the output folder, it will just overwrite those images. But let's go ahead and browse. And I've made a folder called Done. Hit Choose, and then hit Process. And that's going to open up the first image. And then we start working on it. So uh, first thing we're going to do is I've got um, some circles under eyes. Let's go ahead and take care of those. OK, go here. A little bit bigger on that. And Option Select, and work the circles a little bit. There we go there. Boom. Um, let's say they're all ordering 4x5s on this. So uh, let's go ahead and take this down now. I'm going to switch this to normal, take the opacity up, and we'll get rid of some of these flyaways real quick. Boom. Boom. There, there's that one there. So that's pretty good there. Let's go ahead and zoom in now on her face just a bit. She's got a bump here, but I think that's actually part of her. She's got, um, it's actually a mole there. And let's go ahead and whiten her eyes. Make this a little bigger. Boom. Um, she doesn't need much skin softening, but let's go ahead and Lasso tool, and then hit the skin softening light. You don't have to be exact with this, just get it kind of close, it'll feather out. Um, there we go. Well, we might hit her with a little more. Actually, come to look at it here. Let's go ahead and um, hit it with the skin softening medium. A lot of this is just a judgment call on your part. Boom. Done. So now I'm going to hit Save and Next. Next one opens up. Now let's say you go, oh, well, uh, you know, we really don't need to do this one. Um, it's really similar to the last one. You can skip to the next one, and this will not save it into the Finals folder. And there we go. We'll go to this one here. Um, how cool is that? You've done your first edit, and if you decide when you're going through it, you don't want... Uh, you know, you still want to edit some out. It's great. You can go skip the next. And let's say I didn't. Um, I actually wanted to go back. I could just go to the skip to previous button here, and it'll bring the last one up. So on this one, let's go ahead and let's just get rid of this flyaway. Okay, that's not going to work so good there. So let's go backwards here. A couple steps. There we go, and I'm going to switch tools here to the patch tool. I think this will work better on this. And let's cut that out. Boom. Done. Good enough for a 4x5. Let's go ahead and just do the edges here. Right there. Good. Now let's work under her eyes again. And make that just a little bit larger. And just work, select on the lighter part, and just work back and forth under her eyes until you get rid of it. Same thing on this side. Right there. And that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and lasso around her face, just the skin area. And now for the last one, we know that she needs the skin soft and medium. Hit that. And that one's done. Save and next. As you can see, you can rip through these really fast. I'm going to skip to the next one. Don't want that. Say I don't want that one either. And here we go. Let's go ahead and do this one. Now this one, let's just say I wanted a little more. Um, looks a little flat to me. So I hit the color pop. Boom. Got a little more snap to it. Great. Looks good. Let's go ahead and just make sure there's no little pimples. A little thing down here, a little hair sticking out. There we go. 
and then under eyes again. A little bit bigger on that. Option click. And you can see just how fast you can retouch images, a group of them. Like if you're going to a wedding, you know, it's basically under eyes, hit it with some sort of um, filter, and you're done. So, let's go ahead and hit the skin soft medium on this one again. And that one's done. Save and next. Uh, this one's got a lot of work to be done on it, so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. Zoom tool. Um, let's say I wanted to do, I'm going to do this one in black and white because I just uh, feel like it would be better in black and white. There we go. That already helps. Um, let's go under the eyes. That will help a lot. Option click. Let's work those out a little bit. And now this is a good time to show you this too. It's like you can use this under eye filter um, or selection here to work other areas like this line through here, lines inside of her face. Click a light area and you can work it back and forth. It works good if there's hair underneath the lip too. You can soften up that. Um, so that's looking pretty good there. Let's go ahead and skin soften. Medium. Let's see what we got going here. That should help it a lot. And let me zoom out. Now obviously if I was actually doing this, I would clean up these hairs, but just for the saving time savings, we're going to go to the next one. Uh, save and next. And there you go. Your files are processed. Uh, we ripped through about 10 images there in just a few minutes. So uh, once again, this is Kevin with Left Turn Creative. If you want to download the uh, touch flow, you can do that. Um, by going to leftturncreative.com and there's also a 14-day trial of both it and the Texture Pro for adding textures. Thanks and have a good day.